Number 23, professional application. Train cars are coupled together by being bumped into one another. Suppose two loaded train cars are moving toward one another, the first having a mass of 150,000 kilograms and a velocity of 0.3 meters per second, and the second having a mass of 110,000 kilograms and a velocity of negative 0.12 meters per second. The minus indicates direction of motion. What is their final velocity? All right, so here we have a picture set up. One train is moving to the right because it has a positive velocity. The other one is moving to the left because it has a negative velocity. And we're asked to find their final velocity. So what we have to uh, realize is that uh, this problem is essentially uh, going to deal with the law of conservation of momentum, okay? And that law is detailed over here on the right-hand side via this formula, where it says that the initial momentum of the system will equal its final momentum. So what we have to try to frame out is we have to try to frame out, well, what is the initial state of the system and what would be considered the final state of the system? So we would consider the initial state of the system the point just before the impact here between the two vehicles. Well, they're trains, but uh, bet uh, before the impact uh, between the two trains, okay? So if we think about that, right, uh, before the two trains meet, they are indeed separate, okay? So this is basically before they collide, okay? So this is before collision. And then the momentum after, or the final, will then be the momentum after the collision, okay? So this will be considered after, after the collision. Okay, so now remember, um, let's try to now detail what the momentums are like initially before the collision. So realize that we have two separate trains, okay? So I can write this, that the momentum, let's say, of the black train plus the momentum of the red train should be the total momentum initially, right? That should make sense, okay, because they're separate. And that shall now equal the final momentum, okay, after the collision. All right, so that's going to equal now the momentum after the collision or when they are together. Okay, remember they said train cars are coupled together. So after the collision, they're sticking together. This is essentially now an example of an inelastic collision. Okay, so an inelastic collision will always have this type of formula to it, where you have the initial of one of the pieces plus the, excuse me, the initial momentum of one, of one of the pieces plus the initial momentum of the other piece will equal the momentum of the total system tied together at the end, okay? So let's expand on these a little bit. So the uh, momentum initially of the uh, black train, right, we can write it now as the mass, as the mass of the black train multiplied by the velocity of the black train plus then the momentum, what's the momentum before the collision of the red train? Well, same thing. It's the mass of the red train multiplied by its velocity. And that shall then equal, right, the uh, final momentum, which is the momentum of the two trains together. So that's going to be then the mass of the two objects together multiplied by their final velocities. So... Let's keep going, let's keep expanding. Well, there's really not much more to expand. I mean, we can pretty much solve this now. If we had to think about um, you know, what the question's asking, it says, what's their final velocity? Well, here's the final velocity value, and now what I can do is I can just divide the total mass on out, right? I can just divide this by the total mass. So my formula now works out to be nicely. That's the mass of the black train times the velocity of the black train plus then the mass of the red train multiplied by the velocity of the red train, all divided by the total mass of them two together. Okay, I could I could write M1 or M plus, black M plus red M, right? So uh, let's, this is basically the formula we need. Okay, so let's start plugging in the values and solve. So the mass of the black train, they told us was 150,000. Uh, I'm just gonna write it in scientific notation. 1.5 times 10 to the uh, 5 here. All right, that's going to then be multiplied by the velocity of that black train, which they told us was 0 0.300. That's going to be now plus the uh, mass of the 
red train. So the mass of that red train was 110 or 1.1 times 10 to the 5 kilograms multiplied now by its velocity of negative 0.120. That is now all divided by the total mass, right? Meaning of the two trains together. So basically, I can just take the mass of the black train and then add to that the mass of the red train, right? 1.1 times 10 to the fifth. And this whole thing will then equal the final velocity. So all we now need to do is just plug it all in and solve, and that's it. So 1.5 times 10 to the fifth times 0.3 plus 1.1 times 10 to the uh, fifth uh, times negative 0.12 all divided then by parenthesis now 1.5 times 10 to the 5 plus 1.1 times 10 to the 5. And what do we get? We get a positive number, so it's positive 0.122, right? 122 meters per second. Okay, so this tells us then that after the collision, right? Oops, hold on. This tells us then that after the collision, when essentially I have the two trains now together, right? They're going to be locked together. Okay, they're going to be locked together. Let me make that a little neater. Once they're locked together, their final velocity here will still be to the right, and that should kind of make sense, right? I mean, look at just just look at the numbers. Not only is the mass of the black train heavier, but so is its velocity. It's not. I mean, it's not heavier velocity. It's just larger velocity, right? So. It's larger, you know, the mass of the black train is larger than the mass of the red train, and the velocity of the black train is larger than the velocity of the red train. So therefore, after the collision, it should make sense, right, that this system tied together should be then moving to the right, because the black train had more momentum. All right? So guys, thank you so very much for tuning in. Please remember to hit that subscribe button, and why not hit the like button too? I wouldn't mind. Have a great day.